What's happening, Top 10 Central? I just laughed so hard that soda pop came out of my nose. So that's how my day started, yeah. These are some entitled customers. In fact, these are the most entitled customers on the internet, only here on Top 10 Central. Yeah, he won't go away, he needs to go away, he's a problem. I need to leave? No, just welcome. You want to take it to the I still got, I still got, okay. Let's she threw some place. of my stuff. Okay, you want to just take to another place? I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. No, you're not sorry. Well, she wasn't sorry when she cut in line. You! In the rain I didn't see you! To make it. Oh, well, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it laugh! Let's just walk up. I'm just talking. Okay, that's. Alright. It's clearly the Halloween season. There's some bats in that shopping cart. And then all of a sudden someone's screaming at the top of their lungs. I don't know what happened. It sounds like they cut in line. Um, and the fact that the person filming is like, is this a prank? I don't even, I'm not really sure anymore. Also, apparently they threw his stuff out of the cart. So that's a no-go. What I need you to do right now is I'm not really comfortable with you being in this place. Good. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. Good. I'm gonna back up back a little bit. Back up right all the way to your desk. <laughs> Security call This is threatening behavior. We need an officer in here. You dare to humiliate me. Oh. You think I can do that? Are you kidding me? This guy sounds like he's from the medieval times. I don't know. That's uh yeah, that's a little alarming. Also, you're like four times the size of this woman. Just maybe back up. I was gonna say use our indoor voice, but like he really is. But like too much so. Back up all the way to your desk. What do you like? You sound like a Call of Duty character. You sound like Sergeant Soap. You better back up all the way to that desk. I'm like, okay, man. Unball your hands, maybe. Let's be a little less threatening right off the hop. Totally the guy who wears shorts in winter, you know? Just that energy. I'm fine. My knees stay warm all year round. You better back up with your cold knees. They're like, okay. See you later, dude. Oh, my. Oh my gosh. Ma'am, it is 11 minutes past close. I'm gonna be done. Okay, but you can And if you can, but you keep on bringing up more. Okay, no. This is so rude. You are still on the floor. You are still on the floor. Daddy, I need you to come in here. You are still on the floor shopping here because you're still doing stuff. I'm allowed to. No, you're not. It doesn't matter. You have to respect us in our time. I am. You are not respecting us in our time. I am. Wow, that's so rude. Like, I actually fully understand where those employees are coming from. If it's past the time, man, and like, what is this? A winner's? I, I don't know. It's something like that. You know, if it's past the time, I'm getting paid minimum wage. I want to go home. You know, at the end of the day, I'm doing you a favor right now. Like, I'm doing you a kindness by saying, okay, you know what? I can wait five minutes. You go get your thing. But if I say that to you, then that means it's five minutes, man. Like, like I'm picking up the, the essentials. Like, I came here. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, traffic was bad. Dude, please, five minutes. I just got to go get this pair of shoes, and then I'm gone. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not going around and browsing and shopping and whatever. No, we're getting our stuff. We're getting out of there. Worst. Out of my store. But I want to use the washroom. No, you're not welcome. You just store. wanted a chili flex and you're not giving us a chili flex, just Wait, a video. I and never said that I was giving you guys chili. Oh, you told me. I'm not yeah, gonna then please flakes. give us a chili flex. I'm for more chili flex. Yeah, yeah, just I'm asking for a chili flex. And like, you what the fuck give is us going on? I want my money back, man. No, you guys are hostile for no reason. I was going to check in the back and that's what I said to you. And then you started yelling at my face. I never said no to chili flex at all. Man, yeah, then please give us now. Start yelling at you. You need to delete the video or I'm charging you for harassment. Please give us now. Here, Nobody here. like we can Stay charge here. you for the harassment. I'm and not and like, this is the you're proof of the video. This is the proof, and this is going to the Twitter tomorrow, man. Let's go, guys. Let's go. No, well, guys. That's well. Look, I'm no detective here, store. but sounds like there was some chili flakes involved in this matter. I don't know. It's so, okay, it's not funny that people are, you know, in an intense altercation with customers. It happens, we've all been there. But it's funny that it's over like chili flakes. Being like so third party out of it, just being like, oh, I've never been that angry about that, but I wonder if I could be with chili flakes. Probably not. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. The guy in the front seems to be like, holding down like the the wall, like the Game of Thrones wall. He wasn't moving at all. He's like, look, this is what's happening about these chili flakes. That's it, and that's that. You need to delete that video. It's like, yo, dude, you need to chill. 
You're wearing a visor. Crazy old lady did not want to pay deposit. Pulled off job. Or to hoist. I read that wrong. When in doubt, just scream, you know? In a Walmart, in your own garage. Oh, in your own house. No, that's good. So I need a punching bag, you know? Like just, man, I don't know. I don't know, but like, I don't think screaming, like in a room, I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Help me. This is like, I only get 7% of this video. I need your help in the comments. Crazy old lady did not want to pay to poist, pulled off job. I don't even know what that means. It's like 10.30 in the morning, I have no idea. People are screaming in aisles. Great work done though, honestly. Like I'm, you know, I'm no handyman myself, but some good, some good brickwork. Oh. oh no. I get it, you're tired, it's been a long day. Why are you smashing things? They're gonna take that out of your paycheck. You're complaining about not getting your money. Like, you're gonna get even less now. You just destroyed half the restaurant. I mean, I don't really think you'd call that a restaurant. I think that's like Taco Bell or something. I'm not quite sure. Some kind of fast food restaurant. What you wanted. One of the doubles was supposed to be two different scoops. And that's what we paid for. Oh, ice cream. Like again, you're you're getting this mad. This is the funniest part. Like you get this mad over two scoops of ice cream. Like I've there's countless times there's been wrong orders dropped off, or even I've dropped off orders to tables. There's been countless mix-ups. I've never acted like this to anyone at any time in my life, like a customer. James Corden got canceled today because he was rude to a manager at a restaurant. He's getting lit up right now. <sighs> Just remember, it's not your. Sh it's not your ice cream. It's not your place. Unless you're Mitchell, like on the ice cream name up there. You know what? It happens. Don't yell at people over ice cream. You know what I mean? Good morning. Get away from the window. I'm not talking to you anymore. What? I don't care. You don't care? No. Give me the manager. What? Can you hear her talking to me? You better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm going to watch you do it right now. That is a bullshit. Oh my uh, God. Uh, 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 what? Don't talk to me like that. I talk to you however I want. You Please talk get to out of my oh dress. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get out of my dress. What? Oh my god. Water on you. Don't try and play me. Yeah, okay, well listen lady, she just poured a whole glass of water on you after you did that to her. You know, I don't know what this drive through employee said to her previously, because obviously we missed the first part of this, but like, you are being the worst freaking customer in the history of customers. Like, frankly, it's wrong and it shouldn't be done, but you deserve all the water to get thrown on you for doing that, man. Like, come on, what the, come on. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Who's doing this? I can't even see. Oh. oh. That smells like around here too. <laughs> Did you say it smells you like that too? Names while you're at it. <laughs> so funny. It's such a funny observation. In the middle of like getting robbed, it's like yeah, and it here smells like. <laughs> you want to drop it? Here they are. They're coming right around the corner. Here they come. You're screwed. Hey, you forgot something. This guy's like the dad who like loves to comment, but like, you know, clearly doesn't do too much to stop the situation. That's so funny. I, did, I, did I mishear him? I have to go back. Seriously, so they're getting guys. robbed. That it smells like pot around here too. <laughs> God, come here. Imagine like witnessing like a heist. And then this is the observation that you make. This is so, this is so like Whitby dad, ready? Seriously guys. <laughs> that 
God, it smells like around here too. <laughs> you know what's funny? So I... Yeah, it smells like here too. Yeah, it smells like a skunk. What's that? Yeah, neighborhood watch over here is like, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what? Smells a little bit like skunk. Yeah, I don't know. Where'd that come from? Oh my God. Yeah, you are fired. Her <laughs> reaction is like, oh, what is going on? Yes, welcome to, what is this, McDonald's? Welcome to McDonald's, where shenanigans are also on the menu. Uh, gosh, how do you quit like that? I could never, I mean, I have like serious social anxiety, so I don't think I could ever quit a job, but like that, just staging a scene like that? Uh, yeah, no, you can count me out of that one. No, thank you. out on the bread. What did the bread do to you? Nothing. Don't do that. Don't take your anger out on the cupcakes, on the bread, or on any of the other pastries. That is disrespectful and rude. We don't do that here. Stop that. Get some food. All right, opens the door so hot. What is it from? Yes, you just leave like a bag at my friend. For no reason. Like, literally none. Hey, I know I want you. Come over here to me. You ain't never gonna throw nothing in my face again, I promise you that. Nor will you slam something in my face. Do not speak to me like that. Excuse what? you? What? Please, excuse you! What's your issue? Like, what did no. we do to no. you? No, the f he's not gonna throw, throw my stuff him. at me or slam it in my face. We don't know him. We don't know I need him, him to calm down. What the f I, I didn't him. say nothing to him. He I told him he, he forgot all Imagine filming yourself like a someone with money Close the door in my face and slam it and then threw it at and me. then explaining what happened I'm either going to call corporate or he needs to get fired today well that's funny at the end it's like I'm either going to call corporate it's like that's cool we're going to share this video and call the police you can't throw money at someone like that's not you know can you imagine that's like a Canadian gentleman's club that's the only time you throw money in the form of coins that's pretty much it otherwise Never throw coins at someone. Unless you're in Assassin's Creed and you're trying to distract the guards, then huck some coins. Right off the hop, just <laughs> boom! That door opens so quick. That's like, <laughs> that's so alarming. Imagine you're just waiting in line and this Karen 3000 comes in. Yep, you only filmed the last half of that uh, altercation, so we're only gonna judge what we see, which is you hucking money at someone. Don't do that. Put it in the donation jar instead. If you're gonna throw money at a, at a worker, just put it in the donation jar. You'll feel much better in the morning, honestly, once you cool down. Yo, you're stuff on the floor right now. What in the world? Oh! What in the world is going on? <gasps> oh, not the sunglasses. Oh, no. Girl, are you good? <laughs> are you okay? What in the world? Why are you rolling around? I'm pretty sure that's like the dollar store too. Like, why are you rolling around at the dollar store? This is a dollar store. How good can it be? What? Get up. Get, get, get up. Don't be a toddler, okay? Don't throw a temper tantrum like a toddler. That's not a good look. It's not even a good look for toddlers. That's why we judge them. Stop with the shenanigans. That scared me. <laughs> I think maybe it's because it's like those really old computers like I get it. I understand your struggle All right, I do we can't we you know There was a time before MacBooks and this was it and you had your dial-up and it went You know like it was a thing and I would punch that computer too. Honestly, we don't need those anymore I'm not even going to judge you for wanting to beat up your computer because that right there was a piece of garbage It did not do the job you do not work here. Please do not tell people you work here. If you ask me nicely, I'll leave right now. I'll call the cops. If you ask me nicely, I'll leave right now. Okay, well. Karen, it's okay. Everyone has those days. Get 
out of my store now. Turn the camera off. I mean, turn that camera off too. Wow. Okay, so obviously this was a prank. This guy was coming in here, he was pretending that he worked here and it was a prank and stuff. But he was being, I mean, he did say, if you ask me nicely, I'll leave right now. And she did not ask him nicely to leave right now. She just kind of like stormed off. So, like, I guess you just weren't really listening there lady but at the same point i can understand how that could be like pretty upsetting and rude for a manager if she really was taking her job seriously but like come on like it's, it's clear that this guy is just like pulling a prank right now like let's chill for a second like where are we what is this a home hardware like i don't think anyone's gonna freak out right now you know yo hey at least they're not open it could be worse yeah Oh, 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 he's still going. Still going. He's destroying the store. Oh. Yo, that is destroying Walmart. Yo, oh. yo. Still going. Hey, at least, like, the drinks and whatnot weren't open. Like, you can easily, like, it's gonna be tedious, obviously. But, you can go and pick it up. You can put it back on the shelf. And you'll be like, ah, dang it, Dave. Why'd you do that? Why'd you have to go make a mess? Ugh, Dave. Ugh. But at least you don't have to have a mop, you know? You don't have to clean up on L5. You can just pick up the bottles and put them back. Uh-oh. <gasps> no, not the plates. Oh my god. Amanda, stop it. Amanda, Amanda, no. Amanda, Amanda, don't even think about it. Amanda, you better stop. Amanda. Amanda, why? Amanda, stop it. Amanda, get some help. Don't do that. My goodness. They're gonna, again, they're gonna take all of that out of your paycheck. And if you're working back of house at a whatever restaurant, you're not making much money. I would know. You make nothing. So for them to take the money out of your pay on top of the zero dollars that you're already getting, that's unfortunate. Don't do that. Don't be Amanda, okay? I didn't say we were closed, ma'am. I just it said you matter. can't shop here. You don't here. need to tell me not to lean on here. You don't have a sign that yeah, says I can. anything like that. Well, I guess can. what? Because this is our it? business. It's it not your matter. business, ma'am. It's not your business. You're just a little peon that works here. And as soon as your manager Boy, finds you're out gonna... where you, think you are, I don't know if you'll have a job anymore. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you think that. Where's the security? They're on their way. Oh, really? I you asked you. I asked you not to dirty thing. up something that I'm cleaning. It doesn't matter. Yeah, get your, it does job. matter. It does get your matter. August you see, sweaty I arms right. off yes, the yes, glass. Please, like this isn't a. Okay, you, you guys will. Uh, well. Okay. Ew. Yeah, we'll just we'll post that up. You guys can be. Do you need to go to school? Do you need to educate yourself? Do something with your life? I mean, I'm sorry so that you funny. have a job that's so shitty. Imagine that acting like this wearing that shirt. You're the too. one throwing a tantrum in the mall, ma'am. I mean, it seems no, like if anybody needs to learn etiquette, it's you. <laughs> yeah, she's like unironically doing the character that's on her T-shirt. That's the best part of that. <laughs> for bridesmaids. She's like doing the out of control, causing problems for everyone on board character. I'm like, well, that's ironic. There's so many Tim Hortons in Canada and they all have the beautiful display of donuts, you know? Dunkin' Donuts guy would hate it or whatever. He verbally abuse anyone for these ones. I've never in my life even touched that glass. That's the dirtiest glass. I'm never even like, or coffee time. You ever heard of that? That's before glass was even invented. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was a good prank. You know, there's been worse ones out there where you really have to question, like, was this a prank or was this pettiness? But this is a good one. You know, just like, ah. You know, like like the, the classic throwing a snake. Like, oh my God, there's a snake. Or like, oh my God, there's a spider. And they're like, ah. You know, that's good. I like that. Oh. Oh my God, I love this place. Did somebody say, check <laughs> he really tried something. He really tried to do that whole like vine energy type whatever bit, but she was just not having it. And it's too late at night. It's probably like close to midnight. Like these things are always open always open. So you know that they're gonna come out like pretty late at night with their shenanigans. And if I was working there, I'd be like, guys, can you just cut it out please? I'm glad he got shut down. Learn your lesson, all right? There's a time and a place for shenanigans and it is not 11.30 p.m. Thank you. I don't want it back. No, you have offended me beyond. I would like to know the owner's names. Right here, $5 back. I don't wanna see you oh. that time. 
I would like to know their you names. Can, you can take five dollars, you can go. They're right like on the piece of paper, lady, aren't they? Hey, ma'am. Don't take my wrist job, okay, ma'am? I would like to know the owner's names. Okay, I give you five dollars back, okay? If you don't want to, put the down. Oh, so now you just assaulted yeah. me. Yeah, I'm calling the cops. Call the cops. Go I'm ahead. going to. Go ahead, call. You just assaulted me on camera. I'm telling you, put the huh. camera down. And you hit my hand. I'm telling you, put the well, camera down. Well, you did hit And you though. hit my hand. I didn't put it here. I tried to push the camera down. But you hit my hand. I didn't That's assault. Hand. Here. Assault my ass. Yeah, I mean, uh. Yeah, this is just, well, like I said, big symphony of crazy that we have going on here, folks. I mean, she did just want the people's names. I thought that that's what she was giving her, like she was giving her a piece of paper that was going to have the names on it, but then it was a $5 bill. So I guess they were having problems with the $5 bill, but then like, uh, blah, you know, and then, and then and then we have like literally other other employee coming from the side, like coming from the sidelines here off the bench, going with the smackdown on the camera. Like that's not going to help the situation, lady. Like in what world did you think that you know what me coming off the bench and doing one of these is going to help the situation? It ain't. I'm on record, all right. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I already said it like two, three times. Are you incoherent? Are you like Whoa. drunk? On the influence of. I'm, I'm telling you my answer like three Okay, well, what times, is it then? Is your manager like, does she have any mental illness? Oh my gosh. Yo, shut the f up! Yo. Shut the f up! Yo. I'm not doing anything, dude. You're cursing at me? Yo, get out of the rest of me. You can't touch me. Yeah. Hey, bro, don't touch me. I'm gonna call the police. You touch me, I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna arrest her. I just ordered something. Wow. Ma'am, your employee is putting his hands on me. Can I order my no. food? Okay, I mean, listen, listen, listen. That was so, so rude from this dude. Like, that was so rude from this guy to come in here and be talking the way that he was talking to that employee. Like, I feel for that, man. And you know what? I heard this, I forget who said this, but they were, um, like, somebody that I really respect. They were basically talking, and then they were like, look, social media has got to a point where it's like, you say things, and because you got your camera out, you just assume that you're not going to have any consequences at all. And you know what? And I kind of understand that, in the sense that, no, you shouldn't be touching him or anything like that, but also, like, you are being an asshole right now. Like, you are being an absolute asshole, and you just assume that because you're filming right now, like, you're gonna get away with it, you know? Because they work there, and, like, you're the customer, and I just hate it, man. I hate it. Like, talking about... Ah, you were just so rude. You, you know what? You do not deserve to go to that restaurant or any restaurant anytime ever. What? Oh, it's getting so much worse. Like, I get it, you're upset. But you don't have to be that petty. You really don't. What's the point? What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put the travel lodge back together. That is just disrespectful. Somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna try and check into the hotel and they're gonna be like, sorry, we don't have your room available. There's a bulldozer in it. Like, what? You play the games, give me my money. I'll give it to you, give it back. Okay, what's the money? Where's the money? Give me my money, lady. You took it, you ain't giving my food. Listen here, sir. You're not going to be allowed when I'm getting your money. You need to take the towel off the floor down here. Call him. I will. Because you took my money and you ain't giving it back. You're playing two days. You're going to give me what you're giving to me. Oh, my. Okay, where's the money? Where's the money? I mean, that was rude. Like, it was. It wasn't as bad as the other one so far, but, like, that was definitely rude. I want to know the backstory, though. How long has he been standing here for? Are they not, are they, are they purposely not giving the money back? Or are they just having a problem with the till? You know, because if they're just having a problem with the till, and it's just like, hey, man, like, sorry, like, we're trying to get your money right now. We just literally cannot do it for some reason. Then, you know, that's that. You know, you're just going to have to wait, dude. But if they're literally like, no, you're not getting your money back, then I can understand being pissed off if he does need to get his money back. There's a lot of variables going on in this one, guys. You know, advanced equation, advanced equation here. You can record all you want. I don't care. You're not allowed. Do not serve you. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, I just came here. I got a food stamp. Look. Okay. They told me. All right. The cops was here. Even when you called the cops, the cops told you. You're not allowed in here. I'm just standing here. I wasn't here. Just saying. I'm doing what I was told. I can't hear you. 
She's putting her foot down. The foot is down. I'm not doing anything. I don't. I. That's not my problem. I was told that you're not allowed in here. Call the cops. Both feet are down now. Now. They are both down. All right, listen, man. The guy behind the camera seemed very calm, very collected. He just wanted his food, but the police were here. This is something that we did not capture on camera. And apparently the police said he's not allowed back in here. If that's what they said, dude, like, what, what are these people supposed to do, right? Like, I don't think it's their fault that they have to do this right now. It's just like, listen, the cops told me, man, like, you're not allowed back in here. We just cannot do that because then we're going to be in trouble with the police. So, you know, they, they, I, well, what did you do to have the cops come in and tell these people that you're not allowed to come in here? Whatever the went on yesterday or today at home or whoever the f got mad at you before today you're taking it out on somebody else no, you're not I'm you right now you need to stop them. you you're ignorant you're i'm ignorant, ignorant. yes you are I, ignorant. I have a roofing company you work at dunkin donuts Who customer you mean ignorant? service representative i made three hundred fifty thousand dollars last year i'm ignorant this guy's such yeah, a what do they pay you 12 the cops are on the way we already yeah. made her a yeah. them they're not on their way and you last day of your job they're not on your way this dude's getting so you know you're a loser when you start bringing up like how much money you make a year but you're also in line for a Dunkin' Donuts. Like, pick a lane, dude. Are you doing, like, are you, are you doing the thing or are you not? Cause, uh, I don't even know what he said. He's like, he has his own company. I just blacked out. I just, Dunkin' Donuts, man. This guy needs his donut fix. I have a business of my Michael's own. Michael's Crafts, eh? Oh, you do? I do. And that's why you work at Michael's? Oh. I do. What's your business? Why is that in your It's because I think you're oh. mine. That's you're why. Mine. You yeah. You think I'm mine, all you want. You are mine. Like, you can't even tell me what kind of business you have. I, I have an Etsy business. It's a wedding business. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. None of your business, what I do in my personal No, it isn't. No, it isn't. But I'll tell you, if I was planning a wedding, I sure wouldn't have someone as unfriendly as you. Wow. Well, I don't think you're going to be planning a wedding anytime soon, lady, because I don't know how many people are going to want to be marrying you with that freaking attitude wow yeah just like leave her be man like she's working at michael she's trying to do her thing she's trying to get her etsy business started up off the ground like come on shout out to all of those like you know small indie entrepreneurs out there who are just trying their best man and then you have to deal with crap like this like the worst oh my god that's me me What's wrong? Stop, stop. Talk to me. Chill out. Talk to me. What's wrong? He walked in like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, his face is priceless. He's like, what? Nah. <laughs> I know, in that split second, he's like, nah, I'm out. I gotta go. No, but her, I don't know what she was doing. I don't know what was going on. But I feel like that is comparable to the way I react when my roommates eat the last of my hot Cheetos. <laughs>